Several years ago, I did a video on flame coloring copper, and for that I used the oxygen acetylene torch. But now I'm doing some small pieces where the leaves are much smaller, so I wanted less heat. And for that, I'm trying out a small butane torch. This is a small butane torch I purchased from Amazon for $12. Since then, I've seen these as low as $7. Now, there are a lot of butane torches available. What I was looking for was the cheapest, and I just wanted to try this out. Surprisingly, this one came with some very good reviews. The butane fuel is available just about anywhere. I get the best results with clean copper. These leaves have been cleaned with a wire brush. You can also use steel wool, a handheld wire brush, or a wire brush on a rotary tool. I'm doing this in real time to illustrate the progression. This does take longer to bring the copper up to a coloring heat, but it does offer more control compared to the oxygen acetylene torch. If you don't like the coloring you get, then wire brush the color off and start over. I've wire brushed a maple leaf five times before I was satisfied with the color. For me, this is strictly a trial and error process. Copper oxidizes, or what we call tarnishes. To protect the copper and keep the coloring, once I have the coloring I want, I apply a clear spray. If you look at the before and after spraying, 
you will notice that the coloring is not quite as sharp. I've never found a way around this. However, Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel retains more of the coloring than other sprays that I've used. 